Hello and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I want to show you how to use the playlist mode of the DDRs in TriCaster. Now DDRs are part of the TriCaster that allows you to play clips, stills, music, whatever. And there's a way to create a continual playlist out of them or use it to play isolated clips using the playlist mode. A simple, sometimes overlooked, especially by me, feature of the TriCaster to help make your shows run smoothly. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, all right, all right. Here we are in the TriCaster TC2 interface. And today what I want to bring your attention to is the DDR1 down here. Now this can be done for any of the DDRs, but I'm just going to focus on DDR1 and show you how to interact with the playlist mode. So with the playlist mode, basically you can turn it on or off by clicking on this button down here on the bottom of the interface. So uh, when it's uh, off, it is gray. When it's on, it is illuminated in blue, etc. Okay, so I kind of wanted to go through and show you guys how uh, this is going to act uh, because it has tripped me up a, a bit in certain uh, productions that I've done. So I just wanted to share this wisdom with you so to speak. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to turn autoplay on so whenever I go to my DDR on my program it will just automatically play it. Okay, so let's check it out right now. I'm going to play this DDR clip of this uh, river bridge. Uh, it's only about 20 seconds long and just to observe how it reacts. Okay, so list mode is off. Let's go ahead and do a transition to that DDR and let's take a look. All right, so it will autoplay because I had autoplay enacted here, uh, and then it just starts to play it. Now, when it gets to the end of the clip, you will see the time indicator start to turn yellow and red. So yellow meaning that I have about 10 seconds left, and at about five seconds, it will turn red. That clip's about to end, and as soon as that is over, check this out. It will transition right back to the previous shot that I had, or whatever I have on my uh, preview row, so I can change it in the middle of it. All right, so basically when you don't have it in list mode, it will just play the one clip and then go back to whatever you had, okay? Let's go ahead and add uh, another clip in here just to kind of show you some uh, differences. All right, so I'll do the same thing. I'll just do a transition. Didn't touch list mode at all. Just to show you if you have another clip in here, it will behave the same way. So it's not going to play the clip from before, even if I move it around in the middle of the DDR like this, for example it will not change it. So uh, so 10 seconds left, I go to five and whoop, go back to whatever I had in my preview. So that's kind of how that one works. All right, so that's how it works with playlist mode off. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see how that reacts. Okay, so I'll go down to the bottom of my DDR, click on the playlist mode button and make sure that I have my first clip queued up. And let's go ahead and do an auto transition to my DDR1. All right. And on my preview row, I'm going to select another input just to show you that it can uh, do something other than your previous shot. Okay. So now when we go through here, you'll notice that it will not give me a time indicator that this clip is about to end because it's just going to go to the next clip. All right. So it'll go over to Riverbridge. Boop. There we go. And it will just completely uh, just go to the next clip here. And as that goes down, let's watch the behavior of the uh, time indicator here. So now because that is about to end, that lets you know you have 10 seconds and now five seconds before it goes back to whatever shot you have on your preview, which will be input one, bam, done. Okay, so this is a, a cool way if you say want to like play just a clip, a quick little a presentation video uh, on there. Uh, for like your presenters or if you have a couple of them, but now let's go through and another way we can use this is also uh, to loop it. All right. So if we have it in list mode and loop, let's go ahead and play that. And I'll show you the differences here. So again, it'll play this Vegas nightlights clip and then it'll go to the river bridge clip. And because I have it in loop mode and list mode, what that means is it is going to loop the list mode over and over again or the playlist mode. Sorry. So we'll get to the next clip here. Do, do, do. Time indicator doesn't change because it's not going to go back to anything that we have on uh, my preview window. So let's watch this one here and see, I got the 10 seconds 
And that time indicator uh, uh, for my countdown no longer shows up because since it's going to loop, it'll just go back to my first clip. Bam, like that, okay? So let's go ahead and stop this and I'm gonna transition back because that's just gonna loop until the end of time. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, I have two clips in here and I'm gonna turn my playlist mode off, but I'm gonna leave loop on, okay? So let's go ahead and transition to DDR1 again so that will play. So what's gonna end up happening here is it's just going to loop this particular clip over and over again, okay? So the different combinations uh, can be a, a little, I don't wanna say confusing, but at least confusing to me sometimes. Uh, but let's see here, so it gets to the end. And again, we have no time indication because it will just play that over and over again. So if you have it set into uh, playlist mode, it will loop everything with loop mode turned on. And if you have playlist mode off, it will just loop individual clips. So I highly recommend checking this out. There are different work methods for everybody out there. So find the one that's right for you. And of course, have some fun. There it is, another super convenient and easy to use tool for your new tech toolkit. Now, if you like this video and want to learn more about new tech products, subscribe to the new tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash new tech Inc. For formal new tech product training, I highly recommend checking out new tech university at newtech.com slash new tech dash you. And to find out more about new tech products and services, contact your local reseller, or you can visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, don't forget to tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are up to. Now, thank you again so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful, and I'll see you again real soon for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.